Literary and visual arts provide ample opportunity for creative exploration this weekend and in the coming week. I'm Ricky Johickey at EOA TV, bringing you your local arts update. Thursday, Ember's Brew House presents an evening of Western music and cowboy poetry beginning at 6.30 p.m. Grab a bite to eat, a brew to drink, and listen as Joni Harms and Tom Swearingen entertain you. Thursday at 7.30 p.m., the Wallowology series continues at the Wallowa Lake Lodge. Catch award-winning author Marina Ritchie's presentation, Flight of the Kingfisher. Thursday, from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m., the Frontier Art Center in Burns, Oregon hosts a family-oriented acrylic painting night with Andrea Grigg. Your painting will be inspired by playtime with your family. Space is limited, so please register in advance. Visit www.frontierartcenter.com for more information. The Pendleton Center for the Arts offers a drawing exercise class with Chantelle Reed called One Paper, One Pen, Round Two. Beginning at 6 p.m., this one-hour class is free and open to adults. Light snacks and beverages will be provided. If you have skills with building bookshelves or adding finishing touches to rooms, the Flora School Education Center could use help during the coming week at their facilities work days. The Flora School offers information, education, and exploration of pioneer skills and lost arts. For more information on how to be involved, visit www.floraschool.org. Friday from 1.30 to 2.30 p.m. at the Josephie Center for the Arts and Culture. Join Rich Wandschneider as he shares his knowledge about the Nez Perce in the Wallawa country. There are only a couple more opportunities this month to catch this series, and it is free to the public. Pendleton Arts Center continues their drop-in creation stations from 11 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. This is a time where kids and families, locals and tourists can drop by and enjoy a self-directed free play art making experience. Pendleton Center for the Arts provides materials, inspiration and space to create. There is even a comfy lounging area for supervising adults to relax and unwind. In John Day, the Painted Sky Center for the Arts hosts an evening session painting sunflowers in a vase with Angel Carpenter. You'll receive step-by-step -step instruction and supplies will be provided. You can choose to change your background color or add shimmer to your painting. Class is open to adults and youth ages 12 and up. Please register in advance to save your space. Visit www.paintedskyscenterforthearts.wildapricot.org. Friday in Joseph, from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the Josephie Center for the Arts and Culture, join the fun during their free family Crafty Friday. This recurring event is a fun-filled craft-making experience for the whole family. On Saturday, stop by and see me at the Arts Center East Table during the Eastern Oregon Beer Festival and paint a pint glass. And then head out to the Cove Cherry Fair and do an art activity with other Art Center East board members. Saturday from 12 p.m. to 2.30 p.m. at the Pendleton Center for the Arts, you can learn how to design and create small pieces of handmade polymer clay jewelry for you to wear and enjoy. Artist Sydney Lipscomb will guide you through this activity. To register in advance, visit www.pendletonart.org. I'm Ricky Johickey, and this has been an Eastern Oregon Arts Update here on EOA TV.